Ixion was an ancient king of the Lapiths, and he held a notorious position in Greek mythology. He was granted hospitality by the god Zeus but violated this trust by attempting to seduce Zeus's wife, Hera. As punishment for his audacity, Zeus banished Ixion from Mount Olympus and bound him to an eternally spinning, fiery wheel that symbolized his never-ending torment. Ixion's desire for Hera didn't wane despite his suffering, and he attempted to seduce the cloud goddess Nephili. Their union resulted in the birth of a being named Centaurus, and Ixion's moral corruption continued to afflict his descendants. The centaurs became known for their savagery, and this trait was traced back to Ixion's misdeeds. Even though Ixion met an ignominious fate, his legacy lived on through his heirs. His traits of deception and treachery were passed down to his descendants, leaving an indelible mark on Greek myth and culture. Despite his eternal punishment, Ixion's story serves as a cautionary tale of the consequences of violating hospitality and betraying trust. Ixion was a tragic figure in Greek mythology, his life marked by violence and betrayal. He married Dia, daughter of Dionysus, and promised his father-in-law a valuable gift but failed to deliver. In retaliation, Dionysus stole Ixion's horses. Fueled by anger, Ixion invited Dionysus to a feast and, during the event, pushed him into a bed of burning coals and wood. Ixion's guilt over the murder led to him being shunned and forced to live as an outlaw. However, Zeus took pity on him and brought him to Olympus. Unfortunately, Ixion grew lustful for Hera, Zeus's wife, and was punished by being expelled from Olympus and blasted with a thunderbolt. To discipline Ixion, Zeus ordered Hermes to bind him to a fiery, winged wheel that never stopped spinning, burning eternally. This served as a warning to anyone who might commit similar crimes. Orpheus' lyre was the only thing that could stop the wheel from spinning, and it did so during his journey to rescue Eurydice. Despite his punishment, Ixion's violent act had far-reaching consequences. His descendants, the Ixionidae, played a significant role in the world of Greek mythology, with the race of centaurs said to have originated from them. Ixion was a curious and controversial character in Greek mythology, with an odd story that seemed to reflect an interest in the study of causation. Some scholars believed that his origins may have related to rainmaking magic. The Etruscans also knew of Ixion, and a bronze mirror in the British Museum dating back to 460 to 450 B.C. shows him bound to a spoked wheel. Even Pindar used Ixion as an example in his second Pythian ode for Hiero I of Syracuse. Despite the attention of Aeschylus, Euripides, and Timosythios, all of their accounts of Ixion's story have been lost to time. What stands out on the mirror back is Ixion's wings, which distinguish him from other human heroes and instead resemble those of daimons and underworld figures in Etruscan mythology. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.